Today, I become a merman. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. When you're an entertainer, you gotta prepare for the day when no one cares enough to click on you anymore. It's what you do. And as you know, we've been going out into the world to search for what else we might be good at with a little help from our friends over at Geico. Geico. It's time to take another field trip. This time around, we turn to the deep blue sea and experience working at an aquarium. It's time for The, the Backup, Backup Plan. <laughs> This week, we headed down to the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California to see if there were any job openings. As a guy who can hold his breath for a really long time, I'm definitely cut out for any job that's underwater. And I'm his friend. Check that out. Oh, they got a coffee shop. <laughs> I'm talking about the way up. Is that real? <laughs> First job on our list was mammologist. Our mission, to make a connection with a sea lion. Welcome to the Aquarium of the Pacific and our wonderful seal and sea lion exhibit. Thanks for having us. Yes. Where are the sea lions and seals? Megan's going to bring Harpo in, who is one of our eight-year-old male California sea lions. He sounds big. Well, actually, he's one of our smaller animals. Parker is our largest, weighing in about 800 pounds. Whoa, whoa. So when we're working with animals that are nice and large like that, you develop a trust relationship with them. Should I be afraid? No, don't be afraid. Should what if I'm like already afraid? Then. Hold it deep inside. Just look like you don't care. Like, don't even look. Don't make eye contact. Just be aloof. That's your aloof face. <laughs> Let's meet some people. Oh my don't goodness! Make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Hi, come on in. Harpo, can you wave hi? Well, hello, Harpo. Oh. Hey. So we have different behaviors, like a lift, which is Whoa. a sea lion push-up. I can't do that. Oh, oh. he just. Whoa! <laughs> now, does he think that's funny? Have you ever had a sea lion kiss before? I've, I've been on some interesting dates, but... I'm actually gonna switch spots with you. I'm gonna have you kneel down, because you need to be on his level. And tongue or no tongue? No tongue. This okay. is the first time you're meeting him. Right, so right, right. you have to no, be no a little... So you're gonna look forward. Like, and then pucker? Yes, you're looking forward. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> Am I kissing you or him? No, you are not kissing me. <laughs> Get in there. Kiss. Oh my goodness, wow, he's really holding it in there. Good kiss. You got it, buddy. He said no. Good kiss. He didn't want to kiss you. He doesn't beard. like the beard. He thinks he thinks I'm a threat. I think it's more than the beard. It's a total package. Purse your lips more. Uh, yeah. Close your eyes. Target? Yeah. This Heart, is gonna target. do it. Close your eyes. Go ahead, kiss. Harpo, kiss. You're, you're getting rejected, I'm so man. being so rejected. Target! Come on, man! Go ahead, kiss. Wait. You got it, good boy. You got it. I'm getting close, but not really. We're... Uh, lean in, right? Target! Come on, help him out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. He's like, I'm going to fake kiss that dude with the hey, beard. Man, this is like junior he's weird. <laughs> this is like Junior Brom and Stephanie, man, all over again. Well, I think we're going to say goodbye to Harpo. Harpo's bored with nice us. Little, all right, Harpo, thanks nice for dissing wave. me. He waved. Next time, we'll kiss. Now, do you guys have any animals that won't be scared of us and will kiss me? I think we do have some nice stuffed animals in the gift shop if you want to. <laughs> Kiss one of <laughs> Maybe that will get good practice for you. Okay. We have sea lions in the gift shop. I'll practice kissing. This won't be the first time I've practiced kissing on a stuffed animal. <laughs> for our next potential job, we had to get suited up. To be an aquarist, you not only have to be comfortable with immersing yourself in water, but also in mortal danger. Hey, I'm Link. Hi, Link. I'm Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Nice Rachel, to meet you. Hi, Rhett. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Hi. So I am an aquarist here. I work in Shark Lagoon. Are those all your real fingers? They are all my real fingers. fingers. No prosthetic Can fingers. Can I pull them? You may pull them. Uh, my granddad. <laughs> real? These are all real on this all right. end. Real. Okay. I've never been bit by any of the sharks or rays in this exhibit. We will be getting into this little husbandry pool here with this zebra shark. Her name is Fern. So you're going to get us to feed the shark. Exactly. You're going to get in. I don't want to get into the lagoon with the shark. So um, you're afraid of sharks? Well, no, I'm just human. What does that have to do with sharks? 
There's a feather floating there. Did you just feed it a chicken? Is that what we're about to do? A live no, chicken. I did not feed it a chicken. Okay, well. She does not eat chickens. It's not part of their natural there somehow. diet. And there she is, stepping nonchalantly into a tank with a shark. All right, you guys are ready. You're more than welcome to come on in. Does she, she have teeth? She has very, very small teeth. How big is the mouth? It's like that big. Okay, Link. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got any part of your body that's burger size? A foot, a hand, chin. I'm going for it. Okay, okay, it's it's uh, it's sucking on my foot. <laughs> You're kidding me? It's kissing your foot? Yeah, yeah. I can't get a sea lion to kiss my face, but I can get a shark to kiss my foot. Okay. So she's being a really good girl. We're gonna reward her with Let, like, some fish. Hold the back end. Hold the back end. <laughs> <laughs> it's about freaking out. I'm just yeah. happy that I'm making a friend. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I like this. Would you like to give a shot at feeding? Yeah. It's, it's, what? Oh, oh whoa, it's she's, a crotch. Whoa. <laughs> now I want to point out something, Rachel. Mm -hmm. You're calling it a zebra shark, but it has spots. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, Who screwed that it? up? <laughs> well, actually, when zebra sharks are first born, they have really dark black bands, and this pattern looks very similar to a zebra stripe pattern. It's uh, only as they grow mature that those stripes will oh, fade and then are replaced by It really spots. likes Link's crotch. Is that, is that, what, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I cannot say. Whoa, 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 Rachel, 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 you okay. got the shark upside down. I do. Go ahead and give her that piece of food. <laughs> you, look at you, man. You, you're halfway out of the tank. Can you assess uh, our, our potential to uh, be aquarists um, based on this? Well, you demonstrated a interest in trying to handle her. So, a we had bit. interest in trying. <laughs> yeah. That's a very sweet way of saying is, we suck. <laughs> You're a little bit afraid of her, but uh, impressed by your ability to conquer that fear and. Really I wouldn't say that it's it's conquered. conquered. It seems like the whole idea here, of course, it's is to educate, yeah. teach people about these animals, but it's also to kind of wow them a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a particular idea that we'd like to unleash at the aquarium today. It's going to require me having some time alone, mm -hmm. and while I'm doing that, Link can uh, do something to... else awesome. Okay. Yeah. What else awesome do you have that I can do? I definitely have an idea for you. Okay. If it involves getting out of this tank, I'm ready to do it right now. What awesome thing was I gonna do next? Octopus Pilates? High five and a manta ray? Nope. It was being a shark's personal chef. This is called a squid. Does that look delicious? No. Just weighing some stinky fish. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, a, a multivitamin. Just putting oh. it in and is that right. is that what that slot in the squid is for? Exactly. It's for it's a like, vitamin. It is. Hey, gross. Let's move on to something else. I want to okay. be helpful. Okay, sounds good. Preferably in another environment that okay. doesn't smell like this. Let's one. find something else for you to do then. So apparently running an aquarium requires a lot of cleaning. I'm really sorry I missed out on that part. Mm-hmm. Three hours later, it was time to reveal the aquarium's newest and coolest exhibit. You guys are in for a treat because whether you've been here before or this is your first time, this is a brand new exhibit that no one has ever seen before. Uh, no flash photography and no petting of the, um, of the animal. Come on around here, follow me to the exhibit. Welcome to my exhibit. Well, actually, welcome to the trout exhibit. They've stuck me next to the trout again. Ignore the trout. Trout are boring. We all know trouts are boring, but mermen are exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, kids of all ages, I present to you Mericus Manicus, uh, more commonly known as a merman. And he is here on loan to us from a wealthy former NBA player. Do you have any questions, human children? I speak your language. What's your name? My name is But translated into English, that's Trevor. 
<laughs> yes, you, sir. Uh, do you shave your chest? Oh, well, no. I, I don't. I just, there's natural fish skin. It's, it's weird. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, yes, I do. Her name is... But loosely translated in English, that's misty. You're this an egg. Is ridiculous. Uh, the, the more that you spend time studying the mermen and merladies, uh, the more you can begin to tell the differences between them. This one is uh, prone to fits of rage. Why do you have to bring that up? Rachel, can you replace this nincompoop? And that's how we know I don't it. have anger issues. I'm sorry, children. I see that you're running. I'm sorry. Who are your natural predators? You would not believe what a school of shrimp would do to you. They look so innocent. Misty from time to time gives me some problems, but we're working through some things. We're seeing a counselor. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with seeing a counselor. No, listen. If you have a problem with your leg, I mean, not that I have got legs or anything, but if I had a problem with my leg, I would go to the doctor. I mean, just because I have a problem with my heart and me and Misty's relationship doesn't mean I can't go to a counselor, right, kids? Right. Or a ther I mean, just call it what it is. It's a therapist. It's a licensed therapist. Right. And but you should you you shouldn't be ashamed of that. The top half of me is just as human as you. We have problems. We deal with it, right? What's the verdict? Are I think, we in? I think it's very cute. Very good so, job. So we're hired. Um, you wouldn't pay me to do this? I no. think I'm hired as a custodian, <laughs> and you're pretty much going to get a tan. It doesn't look like the aquarium will be offering us jobs anytime soon. Take my trident. <laughs> oh, hold on, you're going to pull. You're going to pull me off. We said our goodbyes, and then there was one last thing I had to do. Yeah, you didn't have to shove pills in a squid and clean up after everybody. Well, look what I got. I see that. <laughs> you can make it. We're practicing. Okay, so we're not gonna be working at the aquarium, but I will be making appearances all throughout the local state fairs in the Merman exhibit, a dollar a viewing. Step right up. Thanks to Geico for sponsoring this episode. Go to geico.com where 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. And thanks to you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Charlotte from San Francisco, California, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Go to rentlink.com slash store and pick up your very own set of Rent and Link bobbleheads. Thanks to everybody who's been taking pictures with these guys all around the oh, world. Yeah. Hashtag the, GMM bobble. The box turns into the set. Click through to Good Mythical More where we're going to give you some of the merman underbelly facts. You a song about lawn chairs. I love to sit in my lawn, lawn chair cause there's nowhere else my mom allows me to sit i love to sit in my lawn chair cause my daddy sat in it and it broke cause he weighs more than me yeah i get out of the shower and before i notice that no i haven't reached all the green on my back I noticed that I've watched everything. My ears are still completely <laughs> green. <laughs>